Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally, and it is almost spring. So I have a couple projects today to get you ready. So the first project, I am starting with these peach-colored bathroom tiles that I got um, at our dump. There was a box of them, so I just grabbed four out of that box, took them home, and broke off any... Um, grout that was around the edges and just clean them really well. Now when you paint chalked paint over something shiny like this, you can uh, spray it with a clear coat first uh, or poly or something like that to help adhere the chalk paint, especially if it's not chalk paint. I've noticed other paints, maybe sometimes a latex paint kind of needs that but I didn't have any trouble just painting directly on the tile. Um, but if you notice that the paint's coming up, you might wanna do that. So once, uh, so this is Rust-Oleum's linen white chalk paint, and um, I gave these two coats. Depending on the color of your tile, you may have to give um, more than two coats just to get that fully covered. And then once that is completely dry, I am using the redesign small transfers that I got on Etsy. I used in my last video as well. But because I am going to transfer on chalked paint on tile, I do clear coat these with a couple of coats first. And then I'm actually going to do it again since it's a uh, coaster. And then this is part of the beautiful transfer that I have left and I thought that these little birdhouses and birds would be so cute as spring and summer coasters. My sister had been wanting some coasters so I thought that I would make her some out of this. And I'm sure most of you have used these or seen these used before but if you don't, if you haven't, then you just cut off the pieces that you need and use the stick or actually, I don't even know if this one came with a stick. I think it did. Um, I have so many sticks left over from all the other ones that I've purchased. Um, but any flat thing will do. But basically, just rub that on there. Um, some take a little more time than others, depending, I think, on how long you've waited for your paint to dry. If you don't wait long enough, or if you don't clear coat over it, at times it can cause the paint to lift up and you do not want to waste your transfers especially if you're purchasing iod ones or some that cost quite a bit more you absolutely want to wait a couple of days even but at least overnight to make sure that your paint is good and dry before you try adding the um, transfers so I like to just cut little bits and pieces and, and create my own designs a lot of times. But, you know, when you're first starting out, a lot of times you'll use whatever they've provided. Um, but like this one here was a really large one. And I wanted to separate the bird from the florals and use the bird another time on a different project. So today I just want to use the florals with the little Easter egg, um, a bird egg there on the edge of that so you just I have these really nice uh, scissors and I do there was just nice and sharp and I like to use that um, for fine detail work like this so just cut off the piece that you need leave the rest for something else and then go ahead and just using that stick adhere that to the project being careful not to go outside of the plastic because of course your stick can lift up paint um, and then once you gently lift that off, I kind of like to give it a little help and push, push down on it at the same time. And then just burnish it or rub it down until that is on there good. And then I'll clear coat over this again. And now I'm going to get those little felt pads at the dollar store and put one on each corner of the back just so it doesn't ruin the furniture. And I think these came out really lovely. Um, and basically probably cost me 25 cents a piece, um, maybe 50 cents a piece by the time I'm finished with all the products that I used on it. So well worth it because, you know, it's two to three, maybe five dollars sometimes to buy some of these little things. And I think they look lovely on my hutch in my dining room. They go so cute with the other spring items that I have up there. Now, project number two, I can't even really call a project... Um, I got this piece, I'm guessing this is maybe a piece from a chess game, at the dump. Cleaned it up. I got these little birds on Amazon. You get six for $12, so this was $2 to make this. And I literally hot glued the bird 
to the top of this game piece. <laughs> and that was all I did. I could have had Spanish moss or, you know, something underneath it. Um, and I may at some point do that, but that is all I did with this one. And I think it's absolutely adorable for two bucks and goes so cute with a project I made last year. So sometimes you just have to keep it real simple. You could paint this item, of course, but uh, I like the way that the dark wood tones looked with the other piece that I had. Um, and that is all that I did with this item number two. I'll try to remember to leave a link for those, uh, for those birds. <clears throat> now the third item, I had given these Christmas cards out and I had the box left and it has a magnetic top. So I thought this would be a good box to use for something. And I uh, had to first pry off that little uh, cardboard design that they have on there, which took a little doing. And the color I chose for this is Bear's Mammoth Mountain, which is a sample you can get for $5 at um, Home Depot. They have a lot of different colors, so just pick a color that you like. And I happen to have this already. I was going to mix it with white and make it a little bit lighter blue, which would be my preference. But I knew that it was going to take something to cover this burgundy color. So uh, this is a latex paint. This is not a chalk paint. So this goes on nice and smooth. I really like Bear. I have to say I've used Bear for a number of products around my home, projects around my home. And... Um, it actually has pretty good coverage. Now, I did end up giving parts of this two coats, um, to especially the interior. And um, once I, it was finished, because I had pried that thing off the top, um, it had a little bit of um, bumpiness underneath it. And so I just took a little bit of baking soda and mixed it in with some of the paint just for the top of the box. And then with a cheap Dollar Tree brush and just stipple uh, that on the top to give me a little bit of texture so that uh, that's not glaring and um, these brushes I love them but they're forever shedding so you constantly have to pick the little pieces off your projects um, but once I got that good and dried then I did want to dry brush some of the white chalk paint over the top because this blue is a bit blue for me um, just a little bit too much so I was hoping to give it uh, a significant amount, really, of white dry brushing, just so the blue would show through, but that the project will primarily be lighter. Now, uh, also, when you're using transfers, it does help to have a lighter color underneath them. Uh, same for decoupage. If you wanted to decoupage on a box, um, it does help to have it be a bit lighter of color. Otherwise, that darker tone tends to show through um, either the decoupage or the uh, transfer and it just gives it a different look so it all depends on the look that you're going for um, but for me I wanted some of the blue in the transfers to be picked up um, but not a lot so you can see I did a fair amount of white in the background but I wanted the blue in this egg and in the bird to really pop off of this box so that is why I chose that and again, I opted to just cut a piece of the branch on uh, this transfer and a couple of the leaves. Um, a lot of the transfers give you the option of adding or, or taking away from, such as the leaves. You can place them where you want to place them, which comes in handy if there's something else that you want to layer on top of your project. Uh, so that worked out good for me, just trying to figure out where I wanted to put these couple of leaves and um, just be careful if you're trying to keep some of your projects. If something like a little leaf like this comes loose, it's sometimes often best to just use it because if you put it away, it may come off of its backing and stick to something else and it could ruin um, something. Or take a piece of tape and maybe tape it to its back uh, just so you can keep it for later use. You don't want it to, to ruin anything else. And that is really pretty much all I did with this box. I think that that's really cute just to to give a pop of color to remind me that it is going to be spring soon <laughs> and um, 
That is all I have for today. Thank you for those of you who prayed for my pinched nerve in my neck. I am beginning to feel better every day. Keep praying. (laughs) Thank you for it. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you in the next one. I am really hoping to get at those two tables that I have outside, but it's going to take a little while until I feel better. But I'm excited about a project that I'll be having coming up hopefully in the next month or so. So make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned. Take care.